guys best backcourt in the league? I mean, I, I let we let the fans discuss that. You know, we just try to go out there, do our job. You know, compete at the high, highest level every single night. And you know, if that's what you want to call us, you know, we take it. You guys have been your Brazier game lately. Are you thinking about the Ulster game in Toronto? I mean, we're thinking about every single win, honestly, and, you know, we let we let that happen on its own, but every single night we try to go out there and lead our team to victory as much as possible. This is for both guys. Uh, what do you want to have of Kyle? What do you want to have of uh, Rosa here? What? What was the question? Like, which skill do you want to have that he has, and which skill do you want to have that I have no clue. I, I, yeah, I don't I, know. I don't want to be like you at I, all. I don't, I, I don't, I don't want to be like you. Yeah. Skill no, set that he had. No. None. Uh, you might want my hair though. My hair is better than yours. Maybe maybe it's, it's footwear. No. <laughs> uh, that's a good question. I'm gonna get back on you. Uh, I won't. Sure. I don't want nothing from. Him. You guys are also good friends outside the field, right? How yeah. much is, is this helping your your partnership on the field? I think it, it helps a lot because you know we, we we talk about the game, we talk about life, and you know we understand what each other wants to do in, in our careers and, and what we want. So I think it's just a, it's a good a line of communication, and it's always open for us too. You guys like this game, the fact that you know it's a pretty busy season for you overall. I mean, between this and then the All Star, let alone just trying to concentrate on the task at hand for the season and the postseason, and everything else. Uh, I think it's good for our, the brand of you know our individuals. It's brand, it's good branding for the NBA. It's great branding for the Toronto Raptors. Um, so I think it's good. You know, I think we come over here and it's a, it's a business trip, but you you kind of enjoy it. You know, you get to bring your friends, your family over here and and understand that it's about business. But you can have a little bit of fun. So we got a couple days to prepare us for the game and then uh, enjoy while we're here and, and take it all in. It's only been, what, 24 hours barely that you've been here? Have you guys adjusted yet? No. <laughs> Most likely probably won't adjust, yeah. you know, but hey, it's part of the job. Part of the job. Mara, you, you mentioned last time you were here that it took you a little while there to just kind of, or maybe you didn't even adjust at all. Is there any advice you can give the guys trying to get through this? Man, it's, just fight through it, man. Honestly, uh, when I played, we played, we had a back-to-back, -back, so it was even, even more tougher. But you know, just try to get through it the best we can. You know, I think as soon as game time coming around, that that drilling, get the rushes. You know, you won't think about it till afterwards. So we back on that plane, going back home. So you're averaging, you're averaging like 30 points in London. You want to score 30 more? <laughs> I'm having 30 points, I forgot. You scored 30 in both games last night. Every time you shoot. I don't know, man. I watched the game once. We lost two of them games. I'm just trying to get a win. Whatever we can. I'm trying to walk out of here one and one and three, honestly. You played three games? This will be our, my third game here. So one and two. <laughs> you know I <laughs> No, I don't. No, wait. If you play two games yeah. and you add one, that means That's three games. Yeah, but you said one and three. If we win. One, four, three. One, four, three. One, four, three? Or yeah, one and that's two? That's what I meant. One, four, three. Oh, one for three. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> USC, baby. Uh, I ain't even go to college that long. Uh, you look a lot, a lot slower, a lot leaner, a lot stronger this season. Is there anything you did in the offseason? It's going to be Lamb, you know, he had a lot of lamb. <laughs> Um, I, I think it was just uh, for me, um, just changing the way I worked out, the, changing my diet, the things I did to, to make sure that my body was right to go through a whole season, um, to be able to help him and help my team be the best team it can be all year. You guys are sitting second right now in the Eastern Conference. It's a lot more improved, a lot more, a lot better. Um, do you guys think you can challenge the Cavaliers and advance out east? I mean, that's our goal. You know, they're the top top team in our in, in our league. I mean, our conference. You know, um, we try to go out there, compete with every single team. You know, every team in our conference is definitely extremely good, and everything's up for grabs. You know, so it's going to be a fight all the way downhill. So we'll see. You played with Boone at USC. Yeah. Where are the biggest areas of growth that you see? In Everything. He was a baby when when he was at SC. He. He didn't play much at all, but you could tell he, he was going to be a, a great player. And, you know, him growing into his body, his skill set was always there. Him just gaining more experience, you know, his, his, dang, his game has definitely came a long way. Do you think about the skill Kyle has that you want to have? Yeah. Which one? Uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were sent to Europe in the dunk contest a few years back. I mean,
we haven't seen right. it once since. Right. Also, huh? being in Toronto this year, huh? we reward the home fans and we're up again. What was it again? What was the question? The dunk contest? Oh. Man, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not even sure I can do it. No, no, no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. No oh. comment. I'm his lawyer for that, but no comment. Were you off the thing um, for a few clubs of earlier in your career? You seem to have really calm through practice. What are you planning? Um, what, um, what about playing in Toronto? Do you feel it's helped you? Uh, I think the, the, the organization, I think my team, I think it's just been the best situation for me to grow as a, as a player, um, as an individual, as a man. And um, I've been playing, I've been, I've been fortunate enough to play with one of the best two guards in the NBA and DeMar, so it makes life a lot easier. DeMar, last question. You've been putting guys on posters, don't on them. So I just want to ask you, between another legend that played for Toronto, Vince Carter, what do you think about a dunker, in-game dunker, you were here? By far, Vince Carter. No, not at all. No chance. I don't even consider myself as a dunker. I'm a scorer. I'm a, I'm a live with no, no. That'd be all accidents. <laughs> I don't do it on purpose. I promise you, it'd be accidents.